We've got some bad news coming from Antarctica. Why not? It's coming from everywhere else. And it has to do with what is called the Thwaites Glacier. And what might be coming in the future that would be devastating for coastlines around the world. So until recently, the ice shelf was seen as the most stable part of this glacier. So there's this individual part of a glacier. Maybe we should jump ahead of the map. And you'll be able to see there is an ice shelf right on the edge of Antarctica where the ice and land mass hits the ocean. And that is the part that hits the ocean that is in some ways holding back the entirety of the Thwaites Glacier. So already the fact that this is melting contributes to about 4% of annual global sea level rise. So it is melting, this is ongoing, that is contributing to the sea rising. So that is just baked in, that's what's happening right now. But it has been in its position there at the outer edge of the Thwaites Glacier, it has been pretty important in a way that we're gonna describe. Right now, by the way, Thwaites overall is about the size of Florida and is already losing about 50 billion tons of ice per year. I love being able to read these numbers because it sounds absolutely insane. Okay, so here's the issue with it. This one part we're talking about, this ice shelf, uh, goes into the water and the water is warming. It gets underneath the ice shelf and in some cases can channel in and under creating uh, heat pockets that cause accelerated melting. And uh, new data is showing that that is actually happening. It is being eroded from below and satellite images taken as recently as last month and presented just this week at the annual meeting of the American Geophysical Union show large diagonal cracks extending across the floating ice wedge. So that's great. They're described as weak spots like cracks in a windshield. And they say one more blow and they could spider web across the entire ice shelf surface. That's great. Now, I don't know in this analogy exactly what that one blow would be. I imagine it's continued melting, which is almost certainly gonna happen as the ocean continues to get warmer and warmer. So that's great. But Aaron Pettit, who is a glaciologist at Oregon State University says, this eastern ice shelf is likely to shatter into hundreds of icebergs. Suddenly the whole thing would collapse. Okay, so that's bad, but not necessarily exactly like you might think it's bad. So you might think, okay, if this ice shelf on the edge of Thwaites Glacier were to suddenly shatter, well, that's gonna cause a lot of raising of sea level, right? Because suddenly you have all these other glaciers. Not exactly, it's bad, but it's not bad in that way because that bit of the ice shelf is actually already in the water. It is already causing whatever raise in sea level it is. But right now, it's also attached to an undersea mountain effectively. If it were to melt much more, it could detach from the hold it has on the undersea mountain and start to flow away. Now that immediately would not necessarily cause a raise in global sea level because as I said, it's already in the water. The issue is that that ice shelf is holding in the rest of the glacier. If that were to stop, if that were to go away, then suddenly that glacier would begin to melt melt faster and move quicker into the ocean. And that is what they're worried about. The total collapse of this entire glacier, they say, could by itself raise global sea levels several feet, endangering millions of people in coastal areas. So there's a lot that you have to be worried about when it comes to climate change clearly. And even if the part of climate change that you wanna focus on is sea level rise, There are so many different things that are influencing that. Some of which you might not even think about. The fact that heating of the ocean actually causes the ocean to expand. So even without any additional ice going to the ocean, it is itself raising. But even just this one glacier in Antarctica could itself cause multiple feet in sea level rise, let alone many others that we've talked about many times. Now we don't know when this might happen. Scientists say it could take decades, it could take centuries. Maybe we'll be lucky. I mean, we regularly are when it comes to global climate change news. But Sophie, I'm going to show this next graphic because more data is about to be taken. And do you know what's gonna be getting the data for us? Let's go to this picture. Bodie McBoatface is actually going to be going underneath this ice shelf. And there is a fear that this mission, which might last several days, could actually be lost underneath. We could see Bodie McBoatface sacrificing its life to give us necessary information about this ice shelf. So keep Bodie McBoatface in your thoughts as it engages in this mission. And keep climate change on your mind because it's gonna be bad over the next few decades. 
Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.